Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. Third party, Lord. Burnout. So obviously, <sighs> this is already giving love triangle. I wish that that wasn't the case, guys, but it's what's coming out. And I saw finances. So what I'm kind of getting already is that somebody is tired of just staying in a situation where they know that th things are never going to progress with them and this person. Um, they just feel like it's a blockage. It's, it's an obstacle. They feel like it's time to do something different. It's time for new um, they feel like they're burnt out with the situation. They could be have could have been in this situation because of finances or finances was a factor, but somebody feels like um they just they're burnt out with that situation. We have purpose, yeah, looking for meaning in life. They somebody feels like there's just something better. There has to be something better than this. There has to be something more than this. All right, clarify brick wall. We have happiness. So Somebody feels like somebody that, th so if somebody feels like a third party is a blockage to their happiness, feeling on top of the world, a smoother ride through life, an incident that made you happy, feeling happy about your life. Somebody is happy that, hmm, it, maybe this was also a situation where something wasn't moving forward that you wanted to move forward, but Spirit says this was actually something positive. You guys may feel like when, you know, something was just not working, it wasn't moving forward. Um, it, was, it was like a brick wall. It was insurmountable obstacle or it just was like not meant to move forward at that time. Two, three, four at the camera. But Spirit's saying that it actually, something actually was progressing or moving forward with me seeing two, three, four on the camera. But it's almost like this, this was blocked for your highest good, which this card actually says that. Yeah, it says blocked for your highest good. It was blocked so that you could be happy. It was so that you could have, things could get easier for you. Um, so Spirit is saying that whatever this was, this, this, this brick wall situation was something that was only going to bring you unhappiness okay clarify third party we have love yeah someone that has is and with somebody else is watching you but this is somebody yeah romantic feelings somebody that has romantic feelings for you somebody that has love for you somebody that you may even have love for as well someone has feelings for you but they have a third party clarify burnt out death yeah, inevitable end, big transformation, shutter, inquired, dead end. Yeah, more energy here of a dead end. It's just, it's like something needs to come to an end that it's like an inevitable end, but it's like, let's see, purpose, and we have anger. So we have, you feel you've been wrong, arguments, disagreements, temper, ego clashes, pent up anger. Mountains, yeah, obstacles and challenges, possible delays, patience needed, requires perseverance. Yeah, sadness, disappointment, regret, depression, unwelcome change. Some of you guys are unhappy with like this path that the divine led you down to, to do some soul work and to really discover the meaning of life and discover your purpose. You guys kind of feel like you've been done dirty or like you just don't maybe understand like the divine's plan when it comes to them leading you down this path you guys feel like you just have been kind of going through it you go you've been going through a lot of obstacles and challenges and you guys just may not understand it so what is what is the moral what's this what's the situation like so why is this coming out for them today what's, so we have time off taking time to relax spirit says you guys something was like draining too much of your energy this person that you were in love with, but that was connected to another person or they had a lot of interference. Spirit says that that was, you were putting too much emphasis and focus and too much of your energy, time, effort into that situation. It was burning you out. It was draining you. It needed to come to an end you, or you needed to at least take a break from it. Okay. So that you could take care of yourself more, nurture yourself, water your own garden or whatever I'm trying to say. Yeah. Surviving because yeah, burnout is knocking on your door. Like it was going to lead you. If you kept going down that same path, it would have led you to like possibly losing some type of money or it just would have led you into like a five of pentacles type energy lack. It's like, yeah, divine timing, something you can't control. Yeah, it was like a need to let go of the situation that you can't control. You can't control. You, you, were, you were stressing yourself out and draining yourself trying to Make a situation work with somebody that you loved, but that you couldn't control. You can't control. 
if this person wants to be with a third party, they won't leave that person or they won't stop letting people interfere on y'all, you know, your guys' relationship, things like that. So there was a need for you to learn to let go. Yeah. And focus. Yeah. Look at this card literally says focusing on what you can change. Yeah. Yeah. Abundance. And which, so some of you guys started pouring a lot of your energy and work, I mean, any time and time and energy into finding finances. Yeah magnetic yeah you guys are attracting a lot of money yeah you guys are attracting a lot of money and we have dice yeah time to take it's almost like you guys have stepped into stepped into a more receptive energy and it's actually drawing this person to you whoever this person is they're about to take a risk or something like that yeah the devil though what about the devil the hidden this person has yeah i don't like that Addictions, problem, access, obsession, dependency, materialism, hidden enemies, hiding true intentions. Somebody's obsessed over you, obsessed with you, and they're like not wanting you to know this. What is this dice energy? Yeah, somebody's about to take a risk and give you a love offer here. Yeah, being asked out on a date, love to the next level, positive new love coming in, a job offer you love. Mm, yeah, we have local travel. This could be somebody that lives at a yeah romantic. They may even want to like come and see you more spend more time with you they may even want to take you on like a short little vacation or they want you guys to get to get away for a little bit or something like that man yeah this masculine energy we have manifestation you could be dealing with whoever this person is they could be a homebody okay yeah manifestation dreams manifest into reality your manifestation is close getting more of what you want your manifesting power is strong so what is it that they want when it comes to this masculine fluidity so you want this person to not stop being so freaking stubborn. You want them to be more flexible and adaptable. Stop being a control freak. Stop being resistant to change. You want them to be more open-minded and go with the flow. Yeah, you want them to learn some type of lesson. Well, they're about to. Yeah. The lessons have been being presented to this person. They just have not wanted to learn them or accept the lesson or whatever. Feeling tested with the situation, searching for knowledge, for further education, student. You may be wanting this person to see the truth about something. What is that? Coldness that you, you, you want this person to stop suppressing their feelings and emotions. Let's see. Children. Yeah. Emotionally immature behaviors. Do you just want this person to grow up? Yeah. Up in the air. Not knowing where you stand, situation, decision. You just, you want them to make up their mind. You want them to, yeah, you want them to make up their mind about something. Yeah, serendipity. Perfect timing, divine intervention, happy surprises. The divine has intervened though to, yeah, new opportunities, birth. Karmic cycle. What are they going to do with that karmic cycle? Lightning, okay, and passion. What's that doing anything? Soulmates. It's almost like they've been in this karmic cycle with this person. Whoever this, this third party is, they've been in this cycle with this person. And then all of a sudden they met you. All of a sudden they met their soulmate or whatever. They met this person that they they that's motivated them again or sparked some type of passion, sparked something in them. Like a new passion. It's like you're their new passion or something like that. Like and they weren't expecting, yeah, because this card literally says love striking you unexpectedly. And then we have, it's like, yeah, you guys are soul family, a powerful love, a bond that helps you grow. Yeah. So what are they going to do about it? Boundaries. And the poor health. You just got to be careful with letting this person too close to you when they're in this shitty energy. Because Spirit says that if you don't set boundaries, this person could start to affect your mental health or something like that or you just it's like something about when with this person being such a, a vampire a energy vampire or a user or whatever they are they just they're a taker they start making you it's like you start neglecting yourself because you're doing all the giving and you're doing all the work that's not fair so they need to make up their mind there's some people that they have to let go of friendships like there could this could be a friend or friends with benefits there's somebody that, that need, they need to let go of. They may need to move out of a living situation, change locations. It could even be like not romantic. Like whoever this third party is, it could just be people around them that are not, that are bad influences. Yeah, that they're having chaos with people that are working against this connection or a person that's working against this connection. Hmm. But I mean, I do see love here. We do have third party. 
And then let's get the tarot. Um, where are you, tarot deck? Oh, there it is. Buried, of course. So we have the moon, Pisces energy. The Four of Swords. The Four of Cups. Somebody's afraid because you have withdrawn or you have stopped speaking that they've missed an opportunity or something like that. Hi, Maura. We have the Hermit. Yeah, somebody has gone silent. They've stopped speaking. They've withdrawn. They're doing a lot of contemplating and thinking. Clarify the moon, Virgo energy with the hermit. We have the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So somebody is seeing through an illusion. They're seeing the truth about something here. What about the four of swords, the ace of wands? Yeah, I feel like somebody hasn't been taking very much action, but they're about to soon because they could feel like they're missing an opportunity with you. Yeah, the five of swords. Like somebody's in this like win at all costs energy when it comes to you like they they feel like they can't lose you they won't lose you yeah clarify the hermit strength strength to what leo energy the hermit and strength to king of pentacles taurus Virgo, capricorn and the knight of cups to come towards you with a love offer express some type of emotion to you what about the king of swords the king of cups somebody has a lot of emotions for you This person may even think that you like have another person. Temperance. Temperance and the King of Cups. They could think you've reconciled with the King of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. What's this? We have the Sun, Leo Energy. What's that do with this person? Whoever this person is. The Two of Wands. Okay, that's them at a crossroads or trying to figure out what path they want to go down. The Eight of Cups, they're choosing to walk away from something. What does this mean for my collective? The Two of Swords. I don't like that. What about the Two of Swords? The Five of Cups, they regret not making a decision. Why? Why are they in regret now? The Knight of Pentacles, they feel like they took too long. Yeah, they feel like they took too long to make a decision because now what's happening now? You've, you've withdrawn. Yeah, the Three of Swords. It just could be over between the two of you that you could be in a relationship with somebody else. Or they just think that, mm -hmm, they just think it's like a kind of, yeah, they think it's done. Death, they think it's over. So now what? Now what? We have the Devil, Capricorn Energy. Seven of Wands. Then we have the Queen of Cups. They have a, a toxic attachment to somebody. It could be a water sign, a Pis Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. This person that they're attached to is a blockage. All right. This person is toxic or they have a toxic relationship with this person. So are they going to do anything about it or not? Because I see it still being a blockage. The world. No, they're ending it. Oh, so now what? Ooh, things are about to start move quickly. Eight of Wands. Quick movement, quick progress. The not, page of cups. Yeah, you're going to be receiving communication from this person wanting to apologize to you. They're closing out a cycle with whoever this toxic attachment is. It's karmic. Um, but it's because you're releasing the need to try to control, to try to chase this person, to try to get them to do right by you, to get them to choose you. You're just withdrawing. You're not speaking to them. They're feeling like they're missing an opportunity with you. It's pushing them to feel that they need to make a decision because this person doesn't want to lose you. And I do see them closing out a cycle with a toxic attachment. Whether that's a friend, a romantic interest, whatever it is, it could be family members, and they're coming in to apologize to you, okay? Now, we do have the Queen of Swords in the back of the deck and the Five of Wands. You and this person may end up getting into a fight. But with the Six of Swords, I feel like it will get better. Like, I don't think that you guys, it's like you guys might fight and then things may get better or like, how's this apology going to go? The Three of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. I think you're going to kind of make this person wait before you, if you even give them a new opportunity. But you're going to wait to reply to them. And I think you're going to wait to if, to give them a new opportunity with you. You're not going to just give it give it to them right away. Okay. Yeah, we have the Three of Pentacles and um, the Ten of Cups. So, I mean, I do see when this person co-creating um, like this happily ever after. 
at some point, but I feel like it may be like a slow progression. Yeah, justice and spirit says this is what, how it's supposed to be, okay? <laughs> That's balance being restored. Nine of cups on the back of the day. This is wish fulfillment for you or for somebody. You or them or both of you, okay? So let's get um, some more or oracles. Oh, goodness. Hold on now. I'm dropping a hole. This deck is big too. Hold on. Okay. Oh, what else do I need to know about this person? Oh, they're telling me to use this deck, so I'm going to do that. You're about to receive an apology from this person. It's like an apology that will lead to a happily ever after, but slowly. That's kind of what I'm seeing. For whoever's reading this is, we have Xenials. So it says, feeling like it's hard to fit in, caught in the middle, crossover between Xers and Millennials. So some of you guys could have been born during that time period. So what is that? between Xers and millennials. So like, yeah, that's like, I can't, I'm trying, I can't think right now, but if you're the generation before millennials, this could be your reading. It doesn't have to be that though. I think it's just saying that someone is, um, yeah, ghosted. Whatever you had is over, left confused and wondering, despairing, act no closure. Yeah, I feel like somebody, because then we have that card that said up in the air earlier, somebody just doesn't know where the two of you stand, or there's been like this, this vagueness about whether or not you've really moved on, you've crossed over, or if it's just, there's like a lack of clarity there. Yeah, and I feel like this person really wants to know, like, are you done with them? Or have you moved on? We're not speaking, so I don't really know what's going on. So I think that they are eager to know. Like, what, how, where you stand with them. Yeah, we have spiritualists searching for meaning in life, discovering the magic around you, manifestation. What is this? This may be something you manifested. Shook. Shook by what? Goals. Somebody is shook that. Huh. Somebody is shook that about what you have achieved or something like that. What you have manifested. Can't believe what you heard. Caught off guard. Unsettled. Shock. Surprise. Speechless. Wanting what someone else has, what you're trying to attain, subtly expressing jealousy. You could be shocked by somebody coming in to like express that they're jealous. Yeah, and not look at this ratchet. Person or place being wretched, behaving stupidly or reckless, nasty, unappealing, and inelegant. So somebody's coming towards you in a stupid way. What is this? Blessed. Because this person knows that you were so you were a good thing that they had. Yeah, they were lucky to have had you in their life. They should have been grateful for you. And now what? You Now they don't even have it. Yeah, you don't. The person that they should have been grateful to have and that they were blessed with doesn't even want to have anything to do with them anymore. You had to change direction abruptly. Not interested to send for a loop, dodging someone to dismiss. So, yeah, somebody's not expecting you to change direction tell me about this shipping yeah they believe in the relationship believing you yeah this person wasn't expecting you to like lose interest in them or to go in a different direction or dismiss them they're in this energy where they're like i believe that we can be together i think we can make this work but we have flatlining here so it says and it's because yeah it says conversation went dead you stopped speaking to them yeah somebody wasn't expecting you to lose interest or for this to be a done deal yeah they weren't expecting you to stop talking to them. Don't be so obvious. Read between the lines. Self-promoting disguise brag. Yeah, they were trying to like do something like under, not underhanded, but like trying to do something subliminal or something like that to get you. And they thought they had like, they really had done something. They really thought they had done done something good or that was going to benefit, like lead to the outcome that they wanted. But a low-class person, not worth trying nonsense, poor quality, worthless, useless. Digitally observing a love interest, keeping tabs. Somebody's watching you. Staying connected, stalking your crush, crush cowardice. What about that? Keep it 100. Show your true self. Yeah, be honest with yourself. It's like somebody's just been lurking, not saying anything, not coming in and saying how they really feel. So, 
Yeah, the struggle. Who is this? Are they trying to pretend like they, what are they doing here? What is this? Somebody definitely has been watching you and not, maybe not even just them. Their circle of people could have been watching you too. It says liking something, someone or something a lot. Unhealthy character traits. Stalker fan obsessed. I think I touched on that earlier that somebody's obsessed with you. They're going through some rough times right now. They watch you from a distance. And I think that they don't want you to know what they're going through. But yeah, spilling the tea. Something juicy, hidden, truth, disclosing information, slander, gossip, shocking, untrustworthy. They may come towards you. Yeah. They're going to lie to you about why they kind of put this connection on hold or whatever. What, what is this? Captain Benching? Turn. Yeah, they're going to try to make it seem like... Yeah. What are they lying about? That there's nobody else that they were with or there's nobody else that they want. Mm, I don't know. I don't like this energy canceled. Yeah, they, they're coming towards you in a very like arrogant energy and you're going to dismiss this person while they're like this. So what's that going to lead to? I see them getting dismissed because the way they're coming towards you. Yeah, tendering and we have squad. Yeah, this person dismissed you. It's that like they disregarded your feelings to go do what their friends and their inner their circle was telling encouraging them to go do to go and like get on dating apps and date other people sleep with other people party drink um whatever they've been doing and this is like what their friends and their close inner circle was telling encouraging them to do they tried to put you on the back burner while they were out acting wild they didn't have any regard for how that was going to make you feel and now what now your your perspective on this person is not the same way while they were out you know messing around you while they were focused on others your perception of them changed and now you're not as focused on them yeah and now it's like it's like a, there's something changing here they used to not be as focused on you. Like they, they tried to put you on the back burner and focus on other things. Like it's almost like they were trying to like sow their oats or whatever you that saying is. It's like they were out like partying, sleeping around, drinking, doing drugs, whatever they've been doing. They were they were acting. They were being wild, right? And then they, for some reason, thought that either you would be, they could put you on the back burner and they could come back to you when they were done doing that, when they were ready to settle down. And it's like, when you are very much focused on them, they weren't focused on you. Now, okay, and then you, you it was necessary for you to shift your focus because you couldn't make this person change. They weren't ready to settle down. They weren't ready to stop being wild. So when you shifted your focus away from them, now they're becoming very focused on you, but you're not focused on them anymore. So it's like the dynamic has shifted. And now they're in this energy where they could possibly even start begging you or begging you for another chance and trying to do any chasing you and trying to do anything to make you you know see if you can to win you back over yeah look at this texter send you a lot of messages expect a message of this person begging for another chance because they feel like you're no longer focused on them this person thought that they could be focused on everybody but you but thought you were going to continue to focus on them and now that you're not now they're over there begging or they will be begging for another chance here says think carefully before responding yeah high key Something needs to be said out in the open, obvious, letting everyone know. What high so is spirit saying that it yes, you should speak up? What is high key? Basic. Plain and simple, plain and simple, mainstream in your taste, insult, unoriginal, unexciting. Sus. Someone is being shady, something is being hidden. Sus suspicious, suspect, untrustworthy. I don't know. I just keep feeling like this person thinks that they're gonna make it seem like they're putting everything out in the open, but I still do think they think well, I can't talk. See? I still think that there's some things that they're not telling you. Because didn't that come out earlier? I don't know. Even if it didn't, it's like they're going to be telling you half truths. They're not going to be telling you the full truth. They may tell you a little bit. But I think you guys are already going to know that this person is suspicious. So, yeah, we have bye, Felicia. So, it says leaving and not carrying a good bye for now. Dismissing over it, whatever. So, you're dismissing this person. Let's go to the end of this deck. And then I am going to take this to the extended reading. Yeah. Mm hmm fear of miss this person thinks you're sleeping with other people like i don't know why they're over there thinking about and it's crazy because they're worried that you're doing the same thing that they've been doing that's crazy 
Fear of missing out, fear of missing an opportunity, feeling pressure, choices. So yeah, they're coming, making a comeback. This could be somebody that either you're about to block or what. Somebody's trying to do something to, to trigger you in a, on social media here. But, but they're going to feel stupid for doing that because I don't think that that's going to work out the way that they think, they think it's going to as well. Uh, so this is what I have for you. Uh, so this is what I have for you. Uh, 